Have you ever looked up in the sky and wondered about the cloud that is often left behind a high-flying aircraft? What you're looking at is a condensation trail, or contrail for short, which is a streak of cloud that condenses behind the plane as a result of the engine exhaust. The exhaust is initially very hot, but it rapidly cools as it mixes with the surrounding air, condensing into water droplets before quickly freezing into ice crystals in the frigid temperatures that exist at cruising altitude. But now it gets interesting. You may have noticed that some contrails vanish quickly behind the plane while others can linger for a long time and even begin to spread across the sky. This has everything to do with the characteristics of the air that the plane is flying through, including temperature, relative humidity, and winds. In order for the ice crystals to initially form, temperatures must be below minus 40, a common occurrence at a typical cruising altitude between 30 and 40,000 feet. But whether they linger depends on the humidity. In very dry air, the contrail will sublimate away quickly or not even appear at all. But in humid air, the contrail can persist for many hours and even spread across the sky as cirrus clouds as a result of the background winds. This can be particularly noticeable if you live beneath a busy airspace where numerous contrails crisscross overhead on any given day. Now while the actual contrails themselves are harmless to humans, Aircraft exhaust and the contrails they create are thought to contribute to climate change both due to the emission of carbon dioxide and the creation of cloud cover, whose effects are likely greater at night when more outgoing radiation from the Earth can be trapped.